Dave here with Hammond Motorsports. Just want to make another quick video about progress of this 1975 Nova build that I'm doing here. Um, we don't have a jig doing it on the floor and a lot of people have been asking questions about how we do things so I thought I'd just make a, another quick little video and show the progress of this build that's going on. One of the first things we did is we got the frames the stock stub set at the right height where we wanted it and then you can see here we just took some stobs like that welded on the car then drilled and tapped right into the floor we did that on four corners after we got that all done then we worked off of our chassis points off the lower a-frame bolts here and determined uh, where they're at and got our line for side to side and then we broke that line 90 degrees right down the center and what you can do there is now that you can measure everything off the center and I'm sorry I'm doing this kind of quick on the but you can see like that water pumps right on center straight on down um, you can do that for measuring just about everything so we got the frame rails put in here it's a little tight with a big block kind of see I had to notch that a little bit it's all pretty cool though. And then uh, you can see in the floor here, right up here, I still got my center line marked. Then I got uh, the pinion set where I wanted it left to right. We used the setup plates, worked off of the hook here, and got our wheelbase set. Now that, so that the uh, rear end doesn't move around, the, we just simply took some flat stock, as you can see here and we drilled and tapped it into the floor on two sides of the bearings on front and, and then on the back we just put one. Did that on both sides so the rear end cannot move if it gets bumped. <clears throat> then uh, we just, fortunate I have this lift right here we call Jolly Green, put an arm on there. We use that arm to hold the, to uh, get the roof up here set for height and then fabricated up the hoop and stuff. I showed that earlier in photos where I built that while it was upside down on the ground. But then we could square everything and make sure that we got our points through here all nice and square. Um, now that we got the roof off, I can go ahead and fabricate our bars that go from the hoop here down into this hole. Now what else I'm doing is a little different. Now this is a three by four frame rail car. You see I got the tubing come down to here. But look what else I did. I bored a hole here and actually dropped the tubing right on down in there. And then that way, if this car is ever to take a hell of a side hit, the tube will never come loose. It's into that, it's bored into here and just makes it stronger than hell. Another thing I did is I used these gussets so the top hoop can just slide in here and it made it simpler so I could adjust the length of it back and forth. Still got to trim this off but uh, what else that does especially on the left side over there gives you more helmet room. Uh, one of the next things we'll do is we'll figure out back here on the rear frame rails where we're going to cut that off and then start angling it uphill. This car is going to be really unique in that the headers will come down and somewhere in this area here in front of the rear end we're going to tie the header tubes right into the 3 by 4 and then they will actually, the uh, exhaust will exit the car through the brake light panel on the back. So just wanted to show a few little things here that we're doing and uh, <clears throat> appreciate it. If you got anything shoot me a message or just comment on here and try to answer the best we can. Um, it's a pretty cool little build doing an old school car. You can see how I did the front engine mounts here. Really cool plate that goes across the front. Then the transmission will get the mount for the back. We'll get to that point in a little bit, but just wanted to show how we got things going. And uh, y'all have a good day. Thank you.